there may not have ever been so many opportunities and reasons to start trading in the stock market. Bank deposits are now earning a big zero, and there are lots of success stories on social media that are encouraging people to buy stocks. In the first 10 months of 2024, Tesla shares were worth $85 each. Now, they're worth $932 each. The fact that this made you think makes a lot of people wonder if they should invest in Tesla or not. You may be wondering how much Tesla stock you need to buy in order to retire early. In this movie, we'll show you how the numbers work. So watch on to find out everything. Last year, there were a lot more trades on both the global and local stock markets. This is because tens of millions of small and medium-sized private buyers joined the market. This flood mostly happened in stocks, where more and more platforms are giving trading with just one click, trading for $1, trading with no commission, and so on. People on Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok are constantly posting about how they've become extremely wealthy by betting on certain stocks, which is attracting new users. It seems like all you need to do now is start making money. To begin, there are a few things you should remember about buying. The stock market changes a lot, and if you don't know enough about it before you start investing, you could lose everything. Remember that you should only spend money that you can afford to lose. I only think you should put your extra money, money you don't have to spend, and could theoretically lose without making big changes to your current way of life. This shouldn't be your first dollar or your first paycheck that you save. First, save enough money for three to six months worth of bills as a safety net. It's not worth the money to do anything else. And you can invest it. In fact, I really think you should. So, you see, money can't just sit around and lose value. Also, I think by the end of this movie, you might want to think again about investing in stocks if you haven't already. It's said that 20 years ago was the best time to put a tree. The next best time is now. There are always reasons not to buy. The market may have been going up too long. Or maybe you're afraid of a bad economy, like the market's going down, etc. Investments, on the other hand, are long-term plans. It's more important to spend time in the market than to time it right. First, let's talk about why you should buy stocks. It's important to find a savings account that lets you invest in stocks. Most 400 and ONIX don't let you invest in individual stocks. You'll need to open a different account if you want to invest your retirement money in Tesla. For most people, IN is the easiest choice. You can put your money into almost anything, and any broker can help you open one. You can also pick whether to pay taxes now so that you can take out money tax-free when you leave or to get a tax break now and pay taxes later. In some 401 plans, you can use self-directed trading windows. If yours does, you might be able to use your 401 to buy directly in Tesla. Since the end of 2023, Tesla's stock price has gone up by more than 50%, making the company worth more than $1.2 trillion on the stock market. In 2023, it just passed Toyota to become the second largest automaker by market value, but it is now worth almost $900 billion more. When Tesla's stock was worth just over $400 a share on October 10, 2023, you would have almost tripled your money if you had invested in the company. Today, a $1,000 investment would be worth about $2,940, showing a 193% gain. Going back just a few years, Tesla shares were worth about $38 each six years ago. If you invested $1,000 on November 2, 2016, it would be worth about $31,286 now, having grown by 3,025% since then. The S&P 500 index would have given a gain of 142.4%. While that was going on, you would have made five figures if you had put your money into Tesla. Tesla used to only sell the Roadster, but starting in 2011, they also sold the Model S 3X and Y. In those 10 years, both the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi have been shown off, but neither has a set date for when it will go on sale. If you believe in financial freedom, retiring early, or the FIRE movement, you will see that Tesla could be a gold mine for buyers. Tesla stock has gone from $5.74 per share to $1,229 per share in the last 10 years. This means that a $1,000 purchase in November 2011 
would now be worth just over $204,000. That's over 20,000% in return. The S&P 500 would have given a 357.4% return on the same purchase. This doesn't mean, though, that the S&P is a bad bet. According to Warren Buffett, one of the most famous investors, it's the best place for most people to invest because it holds all of the stocks in the index, which instantly spreads the risk. At the moment, though, our attention is on Tesla stock and how to use it to make our retirement easy. You should be used to riding roller coasters if you want to buy Tesla stock. That's because the stock's success has been very dramatic. Share prices have been going up and down, and it's not just because the company split its stock five times for one on August 31, 2020, which brought the price of a single share down from a shocking 2000 $213.40 to a low $400. The price of the stock is over $900 right now. Read more about stock splits to get a better idea of how this works. There are rumors that there will be another stock split this year. This will cause the prices of these stocks to drop again, making it easier for you to buy in them. There's a movie about that that you should watch if you want to learn more. Tesla will grow in the long run through more than just selling electric cars. The company has made a name for itself as a disruptor, and it may be able to keep that image over the next few years. Tesla could grow in a number of other ways as well. First, the company is working to improve its full self-driving FSD and autopilot systems. In August, Tesla held an event called AI Day to get the best people to work for them. To be more specific, Tesla's ability to lead in fully autonomous driving relies on its ability to hire the best people. A lot of car companies and tech companies are working on making self-driving cars a reality, and most of them have the money to do it. Tech know-how could make the difference in this case. So how do you use Tesla stocks to retire? You keep your money saved, sell some shares to get the money you need, and let the rest of your money grow. We already talked about this being called a FIRE movement. Say you have $200,000 invested that grows by 10% each year. After 10 years, you'll have half a million dollars if you don't touch it. But if you take out $40,000 a year to spend, you won't have any money left after 7 years. To retire, you need $240,000 in capital. Tesla will usually give you 20% back every year. I believe that 20% is a very fair amount, since Tesla is a business that grows by more than 50% every year. These numbers aren't picked at chance. You take out $4,000 every month for the next 30 years from the $240,000 you put into Tesla stock. You'll still have $240,000 after 30 years. Why did your capital stay the same? Don't forget that you only take out what you need and spend the rest. Based on my guess that Tesla stock will be worth $8,636 by 2030, $240,000 in cash will be needed. This means that 27.7 shares are needed. Today, 27.7 shares are worth about $900 each, so the amount of money it's worth is only $25,000. Inflation is the next worry. It's a good worry, but if inflation starts, more stocks will go up by a lot more than inflation. What's the matter then? The only kind of inflation that you should worry about is living inflation. There must be some other reason people can think of why they shouldn't invest in Tesla. Overall, Tesla has a lot to offer in the next 10 years and beyond. As these things get better for the company, its stock could go up even more. Do you think you should buy Tesla stock to save for old age? Leave a comment below.